Hey guys, shooting basketball can be really, really tricky and trying to get the good shots for max preps, that's even trickier. Come inside the gym with me and I'll show you some tricks that'll help you get better shots for max preps. Hey, what's up guys? John Asumi from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again with another video. We're at the Ventura College Gym uh, shooting a JV basketball game now, but the varsity is coming up next. Stay tuned, I'll give you some tips on how you can get some better shots in basketball inside these very difficult lighting conditions. You want to shoot in portrait orientation as much as possible. And the reason for that is, is you're going to get the player and the ball in the frame as, uh, more times than you won't and you won't have to crop as much. And the big thing about Max Press is if you have to crop too much, the picture will not be usable. Even though it's tempting to shoot players on the other side of the court, you basically want to make sure you stay and shoot only the players on your side of the court because too far away you're going to have to do too much cropping and the pictures won't turn out. If you want to get the players on the other side of the court, you're going to actually have to move your body and get over there. You want to make sure that you always have a clear line of sight of the player you're trying to shoot. So you got to hold your eye to that viewfinder and wait for that opening. You don't want any part of another player's body blocking your player and you definitely do not want to shoot their backs. Positions to shoot from. Uh, there's several places I like to shoot from and you're going to get different shots from different spots. I like to set up under the basket and if you are under the basket just be aware of what's going on in the game and make sure the players don't come and fall on you because that'll ruin your night really quick. Um, I like to shoot from the sidelines and sideline at the baseline I'm going to get certain shots on offense. Sideline from half court I'm going to get more of the defensive player. So different, different positions on the court are going to give you different shots that you can get. I think if I could give one big piece of advice that would be your number one. You really want to understand what's going on in the game and it's really important that you understand which players are hot and which players are open because if you know which players are hot and you recognize when they're going to be open, you can actually switch your focus to them at the right time and have the focus and the camera ready when they do you know, the action shot that you want to get.